Brian Hamlet here with NewMediaWorkshop.tv and I'm going to show you how to install Google Analytics into your WordPress website or your basic HTML website. This is a question that we get asked about often from our readers and so we wanted to show you how easy it was to add the free Google Analytics software package to your website. Uh, first thing you need to do is go to http forward slash forward slash www.google.com forward slash analytics a-n-a-l-y-t-i-c-s and this is going to take you to the Google Analytics webpage. Now Google Analytics is a free website statistics tracking software that you can install into your website to give you access to valuable information such as how many visitors are coming to your website, how long they stay on your website, how many pages they view, and it's very beneficial in understanding how well your website is performing. Uh, the problem is that for anyone who is a non-coder, it can seem a little daunting into how to get this installed into your system. So what we're going to do, the first thing now that we're on this page is click on this Access Analytics button. Now this does require that you have a free Google account. Uh, if you do not have one yet, click this link up here in the top right hand corner. It says sign up for a free, uh, for a new Google account. Um, they do now use Gmail as the main source for all their Google accounts. So you will have to create a new Gmail account, but that's okay. This gives you access to all the Google services. So if you do not have that account, click that link. If you do, which we do, you're going to log in with your account details. And once you've logged in, First screen you're going to come to if you do not have Google Analytics installed in any other website or uh, no one has done it for you and you're logging in for the first time is you're going to get this screen right here that just uh, is the next step in signing up for the service. So we're going to click the sign up button on the right hand side. Now once we've signed in the first thing we're going to need to do is create an account for our Google Analytics properties and think of this in terms of your business name or the name of your website. In this case, we got an example site we're gonna work with, so I'm just gonna name it the actual website name. The website URL, you'll notice you got a few options in this dropdown. If it has HTTPS, this is a secure website. Uh, if you have an e-commerce website, uh, this is likely the case for you, or if you go to your website, let's say in another tab, let me show you what that looks like. And when you've gotten there, if you see in the top left hand corner uh, HTTPS in your web browser, then you are a secure site and you need to select that option. Otherwise, select the first option and type in the name of your website. Now, it gives you an example here. In our case, we do not include the www in our name. You can if you would like to time zone that you need to set for your specific country and then select if you are Pacific Mountain East Coast time for the US we're in Charlotte North Carolina so we are Eastern time uh, the next option is something new that Google's asking for to share your Google Analytics with data to try to improve the service that option is totally up to you we're gonna select do not share since this since this is a test website and then if you would like to read the terms of service to understand what you're signing up for, feel free to do so. And after that, click that you agree to accept the terms and click create account. Now, once you've done that, this is the first page you're going to come up to. And there's a few steps that you need to get uh, go through to get your website fully connected to the Google Analytics service. And that's what we're going to go through now. If you scroll down, We've got these options right he here to build the tracking code used in our website to connect our website to our new Google Analytics account. It's very important that you look at these first three options for our question number one, what are you tracking? Is it a single web domain? Is it a domain with multiple subdomains? And they give an example of what a subdomain is. Uh, typically that appears as a word dot your domain name and then your extension .net, .com, .org, and so on. Uh, or is it multiple top level domains? Let's say you bought the name for your business, but you bought it .com, .net, .biz, and so on. You can select the third option. 
For our example, we're just going to select the first option for mybizapps.net. It uses the domain name I punched in as an example. And this is the code that we need to copy into our website. When you click in here, it's going to select everything. Then you can either control C or right click and click copy. Uh, best thing I like to do here is actually open up a program such as your notepad um, or your uh, on a Mac, it's your text edit program and actually paste your code there. That way it's easy to go back to and reference when you're copying into your website. I'm going to move that off the screen there. You also have the option underneath here that will actually email instructions to you for how to set this up on your website, including the code that you just built. Uh, so feel free to do that. It is going to email it to the Gmail account that you set up uh, for your Google account. Now at the end of this, we're just going to click the Save button. You'll see it's got success up here at the top. That means our account is ready to import this code into our website. Now what I'm going to do is we've created a uh, demonstration WordPress installation where we're going to show you how to set this up. So I'm going to go to that website and log into the back end. Now if you're not familiar with WordPress or you're not using WordPress, I am also going to show you how to do this on your own website here in just a moment. If you'd like to skip ahead because you do not use WordPress, feel free to do so. Now once you've logged into your WordPress administration console, you're going to notice on the left side here the various menu options that you have. One of them should be called Appearance. Now you do need administrator level, level access to do this. If you do not see the appearance menu or you do and do not see the option called editor, you may not have access to this tool and you want to either check with the uh, firm organization or individual who helps set up your website or your hosting provider to see if you can get this access. Now there are some actual plugins that you can install in WordPress that we'll show you in another video how to use. In this example, we're just going to show you how to install this directly into your template files. So I clicked on the editor link underneath appearance and you'll notice at this point we're viewing a screen that is loading the code that is connected to our web template in WordPress. In the right hand corner, I've got this drop down option that actually if I click on it shows all the active templates that I have installed into my WordPress system. What you need to do is select the appropriate template that you are using for your website. In this case, it is already selected for 2011, which is the one we're using for our demo website. Now for the placement for the actual Google Analytics code, you're going to want to come down and click on the footer option. And this will actually load the footer file. Now something that's important to notice when you are in this window is in the bottom left hand corner underneath the actual window with the code is a button called update file. If you do not see this button, that means your web permissions are not set up correctly for you to edit the file within the program itself. Again, you will want to check with the person, organization, firm, or your hosting provider to get your permission set correctly to be able to edit the files within WordPress. Now what we need to do to copy the code into our file for our website is actually to select here right before this body tag. This is what's called the closing body tag that wraps all of the content within your website uh, for what is supposed to display. And this open space that we have right here, we're going to pull back over our code that we pasted into our notepad program, select all of it. We're going to copy it and then select within that location of the file and paste it. So at this point, you should see your code pulled in and copied and pasted right where you placed it before the closing body tag. If you've done that correctly, click update file. And as long as it says that your file has been edited successfully, you have now installed the Google Analytics software into your website. Now within a WordPress template, this will appear on every single web page of your website, which means you only have to install it once to work. And this makes it a lot easier for you to paste that code and even edit it if you need to. Now what I'm doing is viewing the source now that I've loaded the page and you'll see it right here in the bottom. 
So you can see it will appear on every single page of our WordPress tutorial website. Now if I go back to Google Analytics, I'm going to actually select the home option. You'll see the dashboard of all the piece of the new installation of the code that I've installed on the website. Now if I click on standard reporting, you may or may not see it start to capture data. Sometimes Google Analytics needs a few days to start capturing the data to, to actually display a report to you. So if at this point you see this right here where there are zero visits, zero visitors, basically no data within your Google Analytics account. Do not worry about that. It will start to come in as it begins tracking your website activity throughout the day over the next couple of days. So you'll need to log back in to start seeing that information. If you have any kind of notice on this page saying it could not locate the code correctly or locate your website, you will need to go back and edit the code to make sure you have installed that correctly. Now for anyone who does not use WordPress to um, power their website, what I'm going to do now real quickly is show you how you can make the changes to your website in the actual HTML. Now I'm using a text editor called Dreamweaver. It allows me to edit web files. You can actually open your HTML files within the notepad program on Windows or the text edit program on a Mac. And you'll notice the code looks very similar, similar to what we saw in the WordPress installation. So here's my closing body tag and here's an open space or even if there was not an open space, I could easily add one just by hitting my enter key. I'm going to go back, get my code, copy that and again paste it into this location. And there's my code inserted appropriately into the HTML file. I can then save this and using a program such as FTP, which we'll talk about in another tutorial if you've never used an FTP program before, I can upload this file to my hosting space with my hosting provider and that will install Google Analytics. However, in this case, you actually have to install this code on every single web page HTML page that you need to track on your website. So if you have a static 10 page HTML only website, you will need to copy and paste this code in each and every one of those 10 pages and upload all of those pages to your hosting space before Google Analytics will be installed throughout your whole entire website. And this is how we install our Google Analytics software into our websites. If you have any questions, Fill out a comment below, ask us questions. We'd love to help you out. And until next time, this is Brian Hamlet with New Media Workshop.tv.